Hello and welcome to the latest edition on Bay 46. Today here I have with me is special guest Shannon Cole. We had a, a good talk about the heavy schedule on the Wanderers. Can you give us more, more about that? Yeah, it's been uh, obviously a very busy period. It's a strange season for us because we went from uh, extremely busy at the start, trying yep. to fit a pre-season around a Champions League campaign, then straight into a busy A-League schedule, then a complete rest. And, and no games for a while, then you know now into an even busier schedule. So uh, a strange, a strange season um, in terms of scheduling uh, for us. A difficult season, um, but yeah, a lot of um, a lot of learning experiences along the way. On Wednesday night, we played Melbourne City, and uh, for us, it was a good victory, second victory of the season. And uh, thank you for all the Wanderer fans that came out out that night as well. It was a good game, good game for us, obviously. Uh, to, <laughs> The uh, pre-game pre -game weather was uh, something else, darkest cloud I've ever seen in my life and the rain was obviously torrential so the game was delayed an hour which can always be a challenge as a player because you have your, um, you know, your rituals before the game as an individual and as a group so to, for both teams I had to mix it up but uh, you already mentioned the crowd, they were fantastic. I mean for the game to come from behind twice and to come away with three points, fantastic performance and, and great result for the boys. Uh, a lot of positives. Again, we already spoke about uh, boys missing and a, a lot of injuries. So there were guys that were thrown in to, to be given some time, some minutes. Um, Dean Bazanis in goals, his first home game. You know, he was he was outstanding. And after the game, I spoke to him and he said, "Ah, oh, man, you know, there's always things you can do better." And like, trying to be all high and mighty, I think. And so I just gave him a pat on the back. Said, "I mean, there's always going to be things you can do better, but there's a lot of things you do really well." So um, you know, he's, he's got some kick on him as well. So. Uh, yeah, he did really well. We had um, Jonathan Aspro, yeah. you know, at the back, which um, <laughs> doesn't matter how tough you act, you're always going to be nervous, you know, yeah. making your debut and being so young. And um, you know, the coaching staff commended him for for such a good performance in a team that has been struggling to get results. That's never easy to just step in and um, and help turn things around. So he did really well, and, and I'm sure he's going to. Uh, build on that and, and grow in confidence. They're finally going to win a game at Wonderland this season in the A-League. And that is a really Tonight we play Melbourne game. Victory and uh, it looks like our baby Wanderers will be taking the field. I think this is a good thing for the club. Uh, we'll be resting some of our older players, our veterans. Uh, how do you see them matching up against pretty much near the top of the league boys, Melbourne Victory? Yeah, they were a good side, Melbourne. Um, and like we already spoke about, this, this busy schedule is, is going to give a chance for the young boys to come through. And tonight we've got uh, you know, Daniel Alessi, Fofana, Kuzi and, and Yuli. Um, you know, young boys that a lot of fans wouldn't be familiar with, but they've been with us the whole season waiting for opportunities to, to show what they've got um, on the big stage. And they definitely have the goods to, to contribute to this team, to, you know, to uh, find their own feet in this league. So it's a great opportunity for them. And coming up against the, you know, a, a team with some, uh, a lot of experience, uh, from what I understand, Costa Barbarossas may not be playing tonight, so it's... A um, bit of a bonus for us. It, it is, yeah. I mean, you, you, never, you never want um, opponents to be, to be struggling with injury or anything like that. There's a lot of respect amongst players in the league that you'd always much prefer to have everyone fit and, um, and the better team wins on the night. So, but not having him there definitely takes a huge threat uh, out of Victory's attack. But as well as him, obviously, Barucho is, is the name that gets brought up a lot with him. He's, he's the kind of player that doesn't matter if he's, um, whether he's playing well or if he's struggling, mm. uh, his confidence is, is the same. It's always up there. He has a lot of self-belief and he could turn you know, 15 balls over and then score three goals and that's, that's a good striker. It's a, a lot of confidence. Um, obviously, uh, Milzy, he's, uh, you know, he's what makes him tick. He's, he's a great player. There's a reason that he starts for the national team. Yeah. He's, he's a very good player, he's a very good organiser and uh, a lot of their play goes through him. Thank you Shannon Cole for coming in today, it was lovely having your time and especially speaking to us all Wanderer fans. Uh, and that finishes the latest edition of Bay 46. Uh, hopefully see you guys tonight at the victory game and hail hell.